Numerical Computation, Chapter 7, Video 4. We now look at a method called SOR. It's a, an abbreviation shorthand for successive over relaxation. A very fancy name. So we observe that in both um, Jacobi and Gauss-Sido iteration, the iteration, once it's given, it's given, it's rigid and it's fixed. There is no parameter in the algorithm that allows you some freedom of adjustment to make it work better for specific problems. And that is a disadvantage. We now look at an iteration method which has a parameter for some adjustment. I would like to say that um, SOR in itself, it's an idea. It can be applied to many situations. The version we will go through is based on Gauss-Sido, but it doesn't have to be on Gauss-Sido. You can easily derive it over Jacobi iteration as well. We do this on Gauss-Sido because we're thinking of improving um, the rate of convergence and the Gauss-Sido seems to converge already faster than Jacobi. So then we'll get an even better improvement. Okay, so we will combine Gauss-Sido step together with the parameter in the following way. So here's the iteration. xi at k plus 1 is computed as xik multiplied by this parameter times this parameter w here multiplied by this whole quantity. I want to catch your attention that this quantity here is exactly the Gauss-Seidel iteration. So what the algorithm does is take Gauss-Seidel, multiply by w, and take the previous value xik multiplied by 1 minus w and add them up. Now if w is a value between 0 and 1 and then both coefficients here and here will be positive and add up to be 1. So this becomes some kind of a weighted average between xik and the gauss side. Okay so um, it becomes important how to choose this parameter w. So the parameter w here carries the name relaxation parameter. And the um, legal value for the w we can choose lies between 0 and 2. That's for convergence reason. It can be shown that it converges if you choose your w in that range. We note that if w equals to 1, then this guy is 0, right? So this is just gone, and w is just 1. And what do you have? It's just the Gauss-Sido. And if w shall be between 0 and 1, then you are taking some kind of a weighted average between the previous value, x, i, k, and with the Gauss-Sido iteration. So um, this is actually not something you want to do, because you already know the Gauss-Sido is better and by taking this you are kind of a taking a little step back from Gauss-Sido and this will actually slow down the convergence. Now if you choose W between 1 and 2 then this guy will be bigger than 1 and this parameter here will be a negative number. So you are saying that I believe the Gauss-Sido step is going in the right direction. So I'm going to encourage that. So I give this a big weight, and I think that is a backward direction. So I punish it by giving it even a negative weight. So in this case, we call this over-relaxation, and therefore the name, SOR. Okay, let's take an example um, with this method. Um, still the same one we have been using and now we choose the parameter w to be 1.2. So we first set up the SOR iteration. It reads the following, it's just this iteration where the negative 0 0.2 is just 1 minus w and 0 0.6 will be um, w times a half because the Gauss-Sido iteration on the right hand side 
we know it has a parameter half within it. So what is in here, all that is twice times the gauss seidel iteration. Okay, we'll now um, test it. Let's choose the same initial guess, and that's the one we have been using, and we'll run some iterations. So after one iteration, we see that we get this number, 0 0.3, 1.2, 8, 1.708. And one more iteration, I get 0 0.7, 1 1.8, and 1.944. Now, if you compare this number to the one with gauss seidel or the one with Jacobi iteration, thinking they should converge to the exact value, which is 1, 2, 2, and you see that this is much closer. Okay, So it's fair to say we have the observation that the method converges faster than both Jacobi and gauss seidel Okay, so after having learned all these three methods and observed their performance, and next time we have to do some analysis. So hope you enjoyed it, and see you next time.